Hi, I'm John from Any Construction and today I'm going to be taking you through a range of British Gypsum's Gyprock plasterboards, including Soundblock, Moisture Resistant, Fireline and Habito. So let's go and take a look. This is Gyprock Soundblock plasterboard. It has a higher density core and greater acoustic properties than standard plasterboard and is ideal for dry lining internal surfaces. On the other side of this wall, there's going to be a podcast studio. So this type of plasterboard is ideal for this scenario. So let's get it cut and we'll show you how to put it on. Soundblock is really easy to cut. Simply mark it where you need to be, score the front of the board, give it a snap and then cut the paper at the back. What I'm going to do in this instance, because I'm doing the edge of a stud wall, I'm going to cut it oversize and then I'm going to trim it back afterwards with a saw. It's a really good way of doing it because if the stud works out slightly, it means you get a nice accurate cut down the corner. Right, now the board is pinned in place, we need to get it fixed in fully. I'm going to be using 40mm drywall screws because we're going into timber and I need to make sure that I've got at least 25mm of penetration into the stud work to make sure this board is fixed properly. These screws are also available in a collated version for a screw gun, but I've only got a drill, so I'm using the loose ones. It's important to remember that all the screw centers should be at 300 millimeter spacings on the edges of boards or through the center of the board. When you come to a corner, they need to be 200 mil centers and also around openings. Just a little handy tip for you. If you've got a level or a straight edge, when you come to mark your, your points out, if you just put on there 300 mil marks, and 200 mil marks, you've got an easy reference, you can just level up your line and then mark everything off without the need of a tape measure. So, let's get it fixed on. Right, what I'm going to do now before I do my edge, I'm going to just trim this back with my saw just to make sure that it's nice and snug up to this side of the stud work. So I'll grab my saw, trim it off and then we can do our 200mm centre screws down this edge. So now I've got my corner trimmed back, I'm going to use my 200mm spacers and get this all marked out and then get it pinned back. And that's it, easy as that. That is how you install Gyprock Soundblock plasterboard. All that's left to do now is finish it with one of British Gypsum's finishing products. This is Gyprock moisture resistant plasterboard. It consists of an aerated core with water resistant properties bonded with strong paper liners. MR boards are suitable for dry lining internal areas which are prone to moisture. They can be tiled upon in higher moisture areas and they can be used externally as soffits in sheltered areas. I've still got one board left to go, so let's get it cut and I can get it stuck on. So, that's it, it's cut, it fits. So I'm gonna go mix up some dab and we can get it stuck on. All my dabs are on the wall, all I need to do now is get the board in place, level it all up and we're good to go. It's worth noting that when you install these boards, make sure that you install it with the coloured face out. Also, any cuts that you make on the board, try and make those an internal angle wherever possible. 
If there are any burrs as well, just remove those with a bit of fine sandpaper. Also, put your bonded edges together. That makes sure we've got a nice seal where we want it to be. So in this instance, the board is up. This is going to be a utility room, so I'm going to use a tape and joint system in this room. If you do require skim on this, you will need to prime it first with this will bond it. So that's it. The boards are up. It's ready to get them finished. This is moisture resistant plasterboard. This is British Gypsum's Gyprock Fireline Plasterboard, which is ideal for use in kitchens and garage ceilings or anywhere that needs an increased fire rating over traditional plasterboard. With that being said, let's show you how to cut it and fix it. This board can be cut using the traditional score and snap method, but if you're cutting a smaller piece, I do tend to use a saw as it makes life a little bit easier for you. My board is cut. If you're going to use a cut edge on a wall, make sure you can fit a bonded edge to a bonded edge wherever possible. So let's get my screws and we'll get it fixed on the wall. My board is nearly in place and ready to go. I'm going into a metal stud partition, so we need to make sure that our screws penetrate 10 mil into this. If you're going into timber, make sure your screws go in at least 25 mil. So let's get it fixed on. So as I said before, bonded edge to bonded edge. Also make sure you don't have to force it in because you could damage the end of the plasterboard. When we're fixing, make sure your fixings are 300 mil centers. And if it's around an opening, make sure they're 200 mil centers. So now the file line board is fixed in place, it is ready to receive a finish. It can be finished using thistle finished plasters or their taping and jointing system. And that is how you install Gyprock file line plasterboard. This is Gyprock Habito plasterboard. It is a tough board which is ideal for situations which need greater impact resistance. It can be dabbed onto a wall or it can be used on stood partitions. If you are going to put this on stud partitions, you will need to use high performance screws because this board is so tough. It is also great for fixing stuff too, as you don't need additional plasterboard fixings. So let's show you how to cut it and get it fixed in place. Although this board is really tough, it is a traditional score and snap system, so it's really easy to cut. However, if you are cutting a smaller section, it might be a good idea to use a saw just to make your life a little bit easier. So you've got your board cut and now it's time to get it installed. If you are going onto a timber partition, you will need to make sure that your screws penetrate the timber at least 25 mil. If you're going onto metal partition, make sure that's 10 mil. With this board, we recommend that you use our high performance screws and also because the board is so dense, use an impact driver to get those screws in there. So let's get it in place. When you're fixing this board, make sure your screws are at 300 mil centers and on external corners and openings, you need 200 mil centers. So now we've shown you how to install the plasterboard, I'm gonna show you how to fix something to it. What we recommend is that you use a number 10 or a five mil wood screw with a single thread. When you're screwing through the board as well, make sure that there's at least eight mil of this screw poking through the back of the board. And once you've screwed it up, as soon as it's tight, stop. What I'm gonna do as well is change from my impact driver to a standard combi drill. You do not wanna use an impact driver when fixing stuff to this. So let's get our brackets on the wall and get our shelf fitted.
And that's it, easy as that. It is so simple to install stuff using this board. If you are going to install things directly to the plasterboard, please make sure that you check the installation instructions of whatever product you are fitting to make sure it's fitted correctly. And there you have it. That is a variety of British Gypsum's Gyprock plasterboard range. If you would like further information about these products, please make sure you visit the manufacturer's website. I'm John from a &E Construction. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Mm -hmm.